Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio plus Community Remix and all that. Let's jump in and see what we can get for our randomization this time around. Who might me get? Ooh, it's been a while. It's been quite some time since a tainted Lilith run. Uh, we actually got not many completion maxes here as well, so we're going to blitz through this. We are just going to absolutely blitz through the first few floors here, but... I do need to be on the lookout because last time we had uh, numerous errors in the console for a community remix and I do not know why and the developers would like to know why so I'm going to try and see if anything else happens this run. Did... What the heck? I was like, is there no spikes in that room? Then I realized they were just behind the pillar. Cheeky. Anyways, for today's question of the day, for today's question of the day, what is something that you find really creepy that you don't know, you don't really know why? Something that like if you see it, because I know there's like a lot of things like, oh, animals, uh, like, like, creeps with a lot, lot of legs, but that's something that a lot of people find creepy. What the hell happened in this room with the lighting? Um, but like, what's something that, like, you find creepy and you don't really know why? I don't have a, a really good example for this question, I've got to be honest. It just came off the top of my head. I'm going to think on it. I'm going to think on it. But today, I am in a good mood because we are having a little sort of cookout sort of thing. I don't know exactly what to call it, but we're having a bunch of friends over. Hello. Are you okay? Okay, this room? Apparently I didn't finish this room or something? What the hell? Maybe? Is this a room that you can do multiple times or something? That's kind of interesting. It's kind of like a recurring room. But uh, yeah, we're having like a little cookout sort of thing today. I'm going to be making burgers. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I made some uh, burger buns with my mum while she was over for a few days. It was very nice. Me and my mum like, really like cooking together. And I just really enjoy cooking and baking in general. So we did that and then people are going to come over today. And we're going to eat big old smash burgers. And I'm heavily looking forward to it. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Oh, I didn't realise that was a goddamn spike chest. But we got my shadow from it. So at least there's that. Oh, Rogue Planet. Now that, that is a wacky thing to get. A really wacky thing to get in conjunction with, um, I should go and check my shop. Uh, in conjunction with Tainted Lilith, I'll be honest. That's, that's, that's really got some sauce to it. Um, I really would like that active, but unfortunately we cannot get it right now. We do have a penny back over here somewhere. I think it's from one of the fires that I destroyed. Can we even get to that? We can. Not really worth it for a single penny, but there you go. But yeah, my shadow, off we go. We're doing good. I remember like when people used to think that when Lilith opened her um, opened her belly up that there were teeth in there. And I'm sure some of you probably still think there are teeth in there. It ain't teeth, people. That is her ribs. <laughs> Wait, can we farm this room? Like, first of all, let me just do this. But this room seems to be somewhat farmable. That's a pretty good trinket. I'd rather take this one, to be honest, though. Um, I might be able to destroy you and get some... Damn it. I realise this could kill us because this isn't exactly an easy room with these ghosty boys. But... It seems that we can keep farming this room for rewards. Which is weird, but good. I'm very worried about these dudes hurting me, but otherwise, not too bad. A lot of spiked rocks in here too, which isn't good. This is weird. Um, store an extra heart does not count against Devil Deal empty. Oh, it's a trinket. Kind of interesting. Um, so I can like go and fill that up. I wonder if its sprite will change to be filled. I feel like it might. It might not though. I'm not going to be disappointed if it doesn't. But yeah, that's her ribs, boys. Okay, yeah, it does change. That's cool. Okay, so we, we, we basically store an extra heart that kind of doesn't go against our devil deal. That's that's really nice to have with the current HP that we're set up with right now. Yeah, this is um this is a pretty strange thing going on here. I'm not really sure what's causing it, but right now I ain't complaining. Right. Oh, that was close. I'm not going to do this forever because it'll get boring. Yeah, let's just leave it there. We got something decent out of it. 
Let's just go. I was hoping to get enough money to use to utilize the shop and buy that uh, the Quaker Oats things, but oh well. But yeah, I like having this planet item. It's hilarious. That was close. I did not realize there was a boom rock there. Get deaded bees. What the hell's going on with that knockback every now and again? That's hilarious. Scuzzits or whatever they're called here. Sometimes they're just knocking an enemy back absolutely miles. It's hilarious. It must be something to do with Rogue Planet, but... I think it's because I've got, like, such high range. That was a very bad hit, but do remember that we have this trinket. This trinket is honestly amazing. It's essentially like a soul heart that we can fill with red hearts. Okay, it's more, more akin to a burn heart, probably. Uh, we should definitely take that. I know I'm using my key here. I probably shouldn't do this, but still. Why does that cost a heart? Excuse me? I'm just going to buy that. As is. And I'm going to be a goober and buy this. I realize that's not worth it at all. I don't know why this was going to cost me a heart. That doesn't seem fair. Anyways, we're, we're in a good spot now. And we can start mining through walls and stuff. Oh my god, the amount of range. <laughs> oh, I, I love how buggy range is in this, in this game. It's so weird. Uh, Ace of Swords and all pick up some chests. Enemies into blue fly spies and scuzzers. All enemies into money. Let's, let's go for that one, shall we? We definitely need another key here soon, though. For that specific reason right there. Okay, we're going to have to come back to that. We should try and maybe look for our um, crawl space at some point here, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. There's also a bomb here we can grab. I mean, I might as well check in here. A fiddle cube. There's also the pentagram in here, too. Um, I'm going to go for that. Yes. Awesome. 1.69 extra damage. That's what I like to see, baby. Yeah, I love um, I love the Notched Axe here as well. Notched Axe is so good. Uh, this is not an Ace of Diamonds room. I thought it would be, but sadly, it is not. My god, the knockback. We're just yeeting enemies like crazy. Okay, there's our key at least. We did get you. Oh, we got the uh, the red version of you, the champion. I don't know what the red version actually does. I'm going to guess it spawns more creep or something. But either way, you're dead. You're dead pretty quick, actually. A turn heart and a black heart for that. Oh, and I don't know if the gold version of this trinket is actually going to do anything, but it is gold now. We, we could also take the golden goat hoof, which is decent for our low speed right now, but it's not really that worthwhile. Uh, oh, fucking three glass D8s. I don't know, three glass D8s. That could be good. I'm going to do it just because we have insane range right now. That was terrible. That was pretty good. But our damage is still pretty pathetic. Gamble. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We lost a lot of our range. We gained a good amount of damage. We, we gained fire rate. I think overall that was positive. We also gained speed, actually. That was that was probably the best outcome we could have hoped for there on the last on the last pull. That was really good. Yeah, I doubt the trinket's gonna work as a golden one, but it'd be nice if it let us store two hearts now. But I'm not gonna hold it against it if it won't. Uh right. We also got bloody gust here, which is rather nice. Might as well destroy some of these while we're here. Right. Let's hope we get a room that works out for our Ace of Diamonds on the next floor. But let's keep trucking. So far, things are going well. Our console is looking a little bit... Um, a little bit... Naughty. Let, let, let me take a quick picture of that and send it. Because this is something that's broken. Apologies for the slowdown in the gameplay here, but there you go. Okay. Do -do -do. One second. Okay, so apparently it's at least not Community Remix that's causing that issue, but that issue is probably causing us some of the lag that we're getting. 
I don't know who, what's causing that right now. I guess we'll find out at some point. Anyways, let's go. Um, yeah, we'll go for this. We got spawns four to six mini Isaacs. I love that. Oh, I love the fact that they're Jello mini Isaacs as well. It's the best. My God, still getting that crazy knockback going, even with the lower range. It's just the way in which it shoots out the tears is just <laughs> doesn't quite do it the way it should. Plowing through the content right now. Oh. This is a good room. This right here is a good room. Okay, still, I want to have a room that is insane for our card. I, I don't want to use it on something like that. That is also really wacky. Um, I think we've got to do this. I realize I didn't actually have to use a bomb there. <laughs> 30 range. Oh, that's hilarious. These items just go hand in hand. I love it. One sec. Let's keep it going. Yeah, it seems that the reflections thing that I'm getting errors for is uh, caused by the reflected items in the um, sewage collection, which is kind of makes sense. Uh, so I've, I've let the developer know just now. Got another one of these rooms. Still not quite sure. So is, is this room going to be a room that just repeats itself? It is. I wonder what's causing that. That's an in, it's an interesting concept, but I, I I wonder what is that like an item I've got or something. I like the idea definitely, but I'm I'm really unsure like what it actually means. Especially when you can farm it for rewards too. That's uh pretty cheesy. Oh my god, I'm getting bopped around all over the place. Oh my god. These guys have eye frames. It's too much, man. Still haven't found that right room for the Ace of Diamonds yet. What the hell are these guys? Are they going to jump? Oh, they're shockwave fellas. They're pretty tanky as well. Didn't manage to find second secret room yet. Nice. Didn't actually mean to open that, but we got an item out of it, so it works out. This is hilarious. Does my whip go further with more range as well? I feel like it definitely does. But I might be completely wrong about that. Nah, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go to the mines, why don't we? It's basically free. It's basically free. Yeah, th th this run at the minute is basically free. <laughs> 30 range. Imagine if we didn't reroll with a D8. We'd have even more range than this right now. Not that we'd ever need it, but we would have more. Ooh, these are new. I'm not convinced this isn't secret room. No, it isn't. Okay. Hey, there's a heart. I still want to see if I can fill up my uh, my trinket with two hearts. I still don't think it'll work, but I want to know. <clears throat> the fact that I can't actually hit this wall to check if it's secret room because it's too close is just funny. <laughs> we've but we've got so much range that it's it's made our uh, space bar item nearly useless. Great. I love stupid shit like that. Damn you, dud bomb. I might play into these, so I'm gonna leave them for now. I don't know. Ooh, itchy leg, itchy leg. Oh god, that was that came out of nowhere. And then we got Cherry Bomb here. Uh, that is an active, so I'm going to leave Cherry Bomb for now. We got Bob's Curse. We didn't really need that, but here you go. This is kind of a tricky room here. 
Luckily, that guy seems fairly okay to just leave us alone. I love Rogue Planet. It's one of my favourite items in the entire game. It's so stupid. These guys seem tricky. Like, with, if we didn't have the power that we have right now, I'd be scared. Infested, I can see forever, drowsy, excited. Oh, we have the excited timer now. I got a mod that makes it so you can see when the I'm excited is going to run out. Pretty fly. Gulp. Gulp's our golden trinket. Amnesia, paralysis. Okay, that's, that's all we got. We didn't really get anything from that. We got a size up, and that's pretty much about it. I'll take that and that, actually. But yeah, we can see that the um, pill is about to run out in 10 seconds. Super, super useful, because... Now it means you can kind of plan around it a little bit and it isn't just like a massive nuisance. Ow. That's my moral hearts here, nice. And it activates again in 20 seconds. I don't know why I decided to see the boss here. Ooh, new boss. Whoa, he's angry. We should be able to handle him there. I'm excited, it's just activated. Shit. And we got water tumors. Nice. We also got an angel deal out of that, which I'm surprised at, but there you go. Seraphim is decent. I didn't realize that I'd actually crack that. I just thought I'd try it. We have insane fire rate right now. What's going on? How did we get up to 8.8? .8? Are we permanently at 8.8? .8? That's that that's actually nutty. Okay, so it seems that gulping my heart trinket or making it gold has just made it useless. Because now I can't even get one heart into it. Unless maybe that was just because it was a double heart and it didn't accept it. Okay, our fire rate has gone down now. I think it was getting hit that put my fire rate that high. Betrayal, no thank you. The D1. Let's just use the D1 in this room and see what happens. Okay. We do have some keys to spare here. Green is potentially good. I'm only going to take two keys away here. And this one is a D6 though, so we'll, get, we'll use that. And at least a 15% damage multiplier and some extra speed. Nice. Damage multipliers are always good. Another one of these rooms. Um, this is something I'm going to have to ask as well. Just thought I had to ask them, because I want to know who who it's by, because it's a really cool idea. But I think the ability to add, uh, to, to get free pickups from them is a bit broken. Okay, so apparently the developer said that that's intentional, and the room gets harder every single time. But that's not what I've experienced so far, so... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Rerolls percent pedestals into mysterious gift. Okay, that's pretty decent. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can utilize that. Whoa, that enemy looks cool. By the way, I think secret room is right here. There you go. Give mum's knife for the current room. Well, map is really nice. I'm gonna leave that for now. I don't really need the mum's knife thing. It's good, but only for one room isn't gonna do too much for us with this much damage already. Enemies like that are so cool. Well, this guy's got a lot of rocks at me. No. I won't let you do it. Okay, so we've got another one of the repeat rooms there. Let's see how many times we can repeat it before it gets, like, out of hand. Ow. I just, I just like, walk right into that. This is pretty tricky, but a pretty cool designed room. I think once we're up here, though, we're relatively safe. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool room design. I like that. Um, we got some sort of portal slot. Trinket Smasher. Destroying it destroys any held trinket on use. Spawns two to four random pickets on trinket destroy. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. I am going to do this right now and turn it into that. Just because I knew it would make it free. We also got double PB there, which is kind of nice. Um, it's one off the adult transformation for uh, a health up. 
pop that. Hey, binge eater. Very nice. For some reason, I saw binge eater and was waiting for it to transform into food, which is not how that works. I have to have binge eater first. Anyways, uh, we also get the hermit here. Hermit's money, right? Reverse hermit. Okay, so let's do some testing here. But is this room getting any harder? Because so far, it doesn't seem to be getting any harder at all. I just want to test it out for the developer's sake. Because he said he might have accidentally rolled back the change that made it get, made them get harder. Because, yeah, I, I definitely think that's the case right now. Also, yeah, heart, her heart trinket being smelted did definitely break it. <laughs> yeah, right now these are really, really easy to infinitely farm. Especially in a room like this. Just keep spamming it. <laughs> Getting loads of drops. I just want to get up to like, I don't know. We're, 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 all, we're already up to 15 cent. I, I, I want to try and maybe get like a soul high out of this. Oh, we have got a pill here. Range down. What am I going to do with less range? How could you? I mean, actually, one second. If I pop the hermit here. Oh, the hermit's the one that sells stuff. My bad. I should have popped it in this room. Yeah, damn. Right, let's keep it going. Let's grab all these bombs, though. We can move on. Let's check our console as well. Okay, we're still getting the reflections bug, but other than that, everything looks normal. One second. Right, let's keep going. Lots of fool's gold rocks in this room. We could take... I don't say we could take advantage of that, but I don't want to use all these bombs, but we've literally got... The perfect way of taking advantage of these. And we've got Humbling Bundle, don't we? God damn the range. It's so stupid. It's so silly. There you go. Got a lot of money now. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not bothering picking up every single penny in here. It's just taking too long. What are, the, are these are like cactuses or something? That's pretty cool. We got the boss here. That guy throws his head at me at the end there. Ooh, I haven't seen you in a while. And it's a champion version as well by the looks of it. Nice. Oh, these guys leave white fires. I wonder if they're like the normal white fires that turn you into a ghost. Probably not. That'd be a bit overpowered, but still. Black art here. Um, yeah, let's go Mars. Why not? We've got the extra HP. It seems seems like a fun thing to do. Seems like a fun thing to do. Hello. Lots of red hearts. Nothing to do with them though. Whoa, whoa! I was like, what does that guy do? Immediately found out. <laughs> he does some really cool shit, is what he does. Oh, that, that right there is a cool room. I really like the rocks on this floor as well. I think Gehenna is probably one of my favourite, like, looking floors for, like, Fiend Folio and improved backdrops and all that sort of stuff. I mean, already in the base game, it's just got a lot of, it's got a lot of uh, pizzazz to it. And, like, it's, it's the theming is just really cool. But, yeah, with these, with these mods, it's really got some cool stuff. And then, like... As you can see as well, it's got some really cool base game enemies, but some really, really cool modded enemies as well. It's like a tractor beam spider. That's pretty cool. And then, like, on top of all of that, the music on this new mod we're using is just insane on this floor. It's so good. Thank you for the half soul heart. I kind of needed that. I will take this. Breakfast... That is a stat up though, at least. I keep forgetting we've got Binge Eater. I'm just gonna pop this now. Oh, for God's sake. 
Oh, we got some new Gurts. I think I've seen them once or two or twice before, but not in a room with other Gurts. Not that that makes too much of a difference, but still. Got some portals here as well. Apparently some of the portals like in the void were changed with the uh, rework mod. The damage is slowly fading. Not much in there for us. Fiend, is that you making that noise? It's a bizarre little noise you're making there. Look at that bomb rock as well. That bomb rock looks gnarly. We got a taco here. That is just all stats up. Oh, wait, what? I got Greg the Egg instead. <laughs> Greg. I guess we'll take it, but yeah. Apparently taco is a part of um, Binge Eater now, which seems insane. Because uh, that's an all stats up already, which then gives you more stats up. I think that's not really the intention. I'm going to let the devs know about that as well. Holy hell, we killed that guy fast. Want to go with lunch here, don't we? Yep. And then, yeah, Taco there. I think we're going to go with... Actually, I'm probably going to go with a Taco, to be honest. I know it's basic, but how much of an all stats up is it? Okay, that is insane. <laughs> Ah, this one doesn't re-roll, damn. Right, let's go. One second. Right, let's keep going. Ah! God damn, Greg, why didn't you protect me? Greg should have been on this. I, I, my range. I have 42 range. I, I literally swing halfway across the entire map. It's impossible to not. It's bizarre. Hello? Um, can I reach that button? No, I cannot. Good to know. Oh, what? There's enemies left? Wait, oh, that, there was two of you I didn't kill. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. We've now, we've, we've reached full red heart potential, which is nice. Got wow factor or food. More breakfast, I like it. I just want to see how high I can get my range at this point. It's just funny. Oh, they all come awake. I love these enemies. They're so cool. They're a little evil, but they are really cool. Whoa, what the hell is that thing? I literally <laughs> can't even open this stupid thing. We got a new food item here as well. Mystery meat. Let's take it. Why not? HP up plus question mark. We don't really know what the other thing was, but I'll accept it for what it is, I guess. Oh no, you hit me. What am I going to do? There's an underground fella doing something to me, and I don't know what. We're in time for boss rush as well if we want to do boss rush, which I probably think we do. We got Taka again. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> This is just silly. Um, take that, thank you. Let's get rid of all of those rocks real quick. I've only got 17 fire rates so far. <clears throat> God damn. Can't really see anything at the minute, but I don't think that matters. The world's first fiend, fi fiendish boss rush. Okay, this is the world's first fiendish boss rush, apparently. That's what the room name is. My god, the knockback is obscene. 
Like, I can't even use my fire rate to the maximum potential. I literally can't. Because, like, look, I can't whip. It doesn't actually... It's too fast to actually whip. This is nutty. We've got an eternal heart in there as well. Not that we need that, but thanks. Ooh, who's this? Who's this? New boss, who's this? Can you pop out the ground, please? Thank you. They did not want to pop out the ground. Hello. <laughs> we get our tears on him, it just wrecks him. There you go. We got this just orbiting mass of destruction. Now all we need is actual tiny planet, and then our range really goes off the deep end. Hello. Is that pin we, we see over there? I think that's pin we see. Pin has been demolished. A soul heart that we can't pick up. Thank you. I think we're almost done. Like two waves, maybe three. Angel dead. You're dead. We just literally just got to create this mass ring and then walk into enemies as they spawn. Fuck, you're dead. You're also dead. We've got like plenty of time between waves to like build up this ring, so... Oh, there you go. And look, we got another taco. <laughs> I've already notified the developer of this. They, they also agree that it's not a great idea. Um... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we accidentally walked into some spikes. Oh no. What a shame. I'm just going to try and blitz through to the bosses now. All I want is more tacos. I mean, to be fair, that's 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 exactly the same as my real life too. All I ever do... Oh, the only reason I do anything in real life is to get more tacos. Back this way. I think we're on the right track here. I'm not sure, but yeah, I thought we were. We got another repeatable room here. I don't think I need to repeat it though, do I? We did take the negative. Uh, we can do hush if we want as well. Two webbed hearts here. I mean, I might as well do hush for the amount of items and tacos that I might get. Oh no, Curse of the Maze. What if I get lost? Any tacos here? There is. We got a taco. Good. Why did the other item disappear? Is that, oh no, that is how this works. I'm stupid. Any tacos? Damn, no tacos. What about the shop? There isn't any tacos in the shop, but there is this. And this. Okay. This this boss is gonna get demolished. Oh my god. Quite demolished. I really don't care about being hit, I'll be honest. I don't think I'm gonna die in this fight. Especially once we get into the second phase. I might want to just, like, keep this buddy out, you know? You know? Like, I think whipping with him is probably, like, not even worth it. Just create this death ring. It seems to not really be obeying the, um, the planetoid anymore. But, yeah, we're killing him pretty quick. Like, his health bar is just leaking. <laughs> Absolutely hemorrhaging. It's also nice to be able to actually use Gela out for a little bit. Rather than just whipping with it. Okay, 
Flies are a problem. Get it's not that they're going to hit me. They just get in the way. Like, I could be doing damage rather than shooting you. I like it when he goes underground because I just get this time to amass this insane amount of tears that he pops up on. Just watch his health when he pops up here. There you go. <laughs> it just does like a tenth of his health in one pop. There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Down we go. Beautiful. Right. We have some more tackers. I will do anything for tackers, but I won't do that. No, I will. I'll do anything for tackers. Hey, look, it's a tacker. Can we get to that tacker, though? That is the million dollar question. We're going to have to find a way. We're gonna have to find a way. Because I need it. I'm gonna take a picture of my stats at the end of this run. We're insane. Oh shit, I didn't realize that guy was over there. Oh, they still fire even after the room's over. Whoopsie. Come on, give me a card that lets me get the attacker. Don't let it end like this. Sad times. I'm gonna try one thing after this fight to see if I can get the attacker, otherwise we gotta give up on that dream. I don't think this will work, but I have to try it. Okay, I actually need to be able to hit it first. Okay, so unfortunately, sw I, I thought swinging with this might be able to get it. It can't. Anyways, back we go. Any tacos for me? Not a single taco. Right. Good, good. Gained a lot out of those. Oh my god. It's like just the mince meter. Oh my god. Meat mincer even, whatever you want to call it. Just grinds them down into pulp. I don't need double damage. I need more tackers. Oh, hello. How are you? Nice to have met you. And <laughs> the lamb. Oh, the lamb. You think you're safe from this? No, 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 no. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was, uh, no, we can do, we can do Void. We can do Void. I was gonna end the video there, but who would I be if I didn't take on the challenge of the Void? Oh, the same room back to back just reversed. Strange. Oh god, there's more. Right, delirium. I want to be finding you pretty much instantly here. I don't want to be messing about. More food. Binge is just amazing. <laughs> I don't know how people don't consider it the best item in the entire game. I really think it is one of, if not the. Right, 
I, I just hope it's not like last time where I just could not find the boss whatsoever. Hopefully we get like a world card early on or something. Makes it a little easier on us. Because sometimes it can be real tedious trying to find the bosses. Hopefully this does well for us. We at least got you dead. Some more HP. Nice. There he is. Didn't get any more tacos on this floor, but you are gonna you are gonna perish quickly, my good sir. Oh, don't don't transform into your regular form. That is a rookie move, my good sir. You don't have boss armor like this. You just gonna stay like that? Okay. My boy just killed himself, essentially. I mean, he was already dead, but... Maybe he was just trying to speed up his death. He was like, nah. Nah, I, I know I know what's happening here. There you go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What a fun run. Lots of tacos. Lots of good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed.